Hi stars, this is Candace from Naturally Stellar and I'm coming at you with a um, video just to show you um, what exactly I'm doing for my skin. Um, I decided that, you know, after a lot of years of suffering from, you know, acne and, you know, just different skin problems like hyperpigmentation, um, which are like the dark spots that you see, you know, after um, acne or sometimes you get like a pregnancy mask and things like that. But just different things that I've been dealing with personally. Um, my skin is, has been starting to look really weathered and um, just old looking, like dry. And it's weird because I have oily skin and it's like, how can my skin look dry and I'm an oily person? I'd have this surface of oil, but my skin underneath would just be it just would be really rough and like even just me touching it would be you know bumpy um you could see my pores i'd have blackheads on my nose and it's not like i was taking like horrible care of my skin i mean for a long time i was using the oil cleansing method and, and it was really working for me for a while but you know as with you know pretty much everything that i've been trying over the years after a while your skin gets used to what you're putting on it you know and it'll just continue doing what it's doing um so for me i just wanted to change I, I really wanted to start to see you know my acne go away i was tired of spending money buying proactive and going to dermatologists buying you know gels to put on top and it's really expensive and i and i'm just at a point right now where you know i'm trying to save money and i'm trying to look my best for less um so one of the things I decided to do was I went on YouTube and started doing some research on just acne, you know, um, skin care and different things because I'm really on a journey to improve the health and the look of my skin, not just on my face, but all over my body. And so um, I came across a lot of videos about um, lactic acid peels, TCA peels, all these different chemical peels. And some of the videos made me very nervous by looking at the pictures of people's skin peeling off and it just looking like a like a horror flick. I didn't want to do that. I wanted something that was gentle, something that I knew my skin would be able to, you know, handle. And even though I'm able to handle a lot of harsh ingredients on my skin just because I have acne and the things that I've tried over the years, I want to take better care and be more gentle with my skin. So I know that I'm going, to go, I'm going to have to start with, you know, a really good foundation. So anyway, I found out about, you know, lactic acid peels. I, I researched a lot of videos. I went on a lot of medical sites. Um, just hearing from different physicians and dermatologists about um, lactic acid and its benefits and things. And some of the benefits that you're going to see from using lactic acid are your collagen production in your skin is going to increase. Um, this this is great for uh, fine lines and wrinkles. It's great for um, those with oily, acne prone skin, people that have large pores, uh, visible blackheads, you know, on your nose or wherever you, you get blackheads at. Um, a lot of like acne that's like under the surface of your skin. Like for me, I would get a lot of bumps that were like underneath my skin and they would never really come to a head. They would go away and then they'd come back. And then after they came back, they'd leave like this huge dark spot on my face. And I just kind of got sick of that. And I was just like, I'm tired of having acne. I'm too daggone old for this mess. I don't have time for it anymore. So I did my very first lactic acid peel. And I am very excited from you know the results that I'm seeing that I got from um, just doing one peel. Um, my plans are to continue doing um, peels like on a weekly basis for one month, and then after that, I'm going to spread it out um, based on what I'm seeing. You know, if, if I see a drastic improvement, I probably won't do another one um, for months. It just depends. On, on my individual results and it's going to depend on your individual results um, so I did a screenshot to show you everything you're going to need to do the peel and I'm just going to take you through step by step to show you what I do when I do mine I'm not going to go to the sink and do everything because I got my face all made up now with my mineral makeup I'm not going to take it off um, but anyway um, what you're going to need is some lactic acid 
Now I purchased my lactic acid from lotioncrafters.com. This 10 ounce bottle cost me $10.87 I think and it shipped really super fast within two days so I didn't have to wait long for this I think I ordered it on a Thursday I had it by Saturday I want to say um, so you don't have to worry about waiting a long time it's ten dollars this bottle is gonna last me a very long time I've done two peels out of this bottle and it's still kind of like up to there I did a peel on myself and I did a peel on my mom um, but we won't talk about my mom's peel right now but I will let you know what happened with my mom um, anyway this is it comes as as a 90% solution and you're definitely not gonna ever use 90% solution on your skin I don't care what race you are I don't care what type of skin you have do not use 90% solution on your skin it will burn you will get serious burns from this if you use it full strength um, if you are a person with darker skin darker complexions olive skin um, so if you're African-American um, if you're if you're Hispanic a darker Hispanic you will you do not want to use a, a high percentage solution you want to definitely at the very least cut this in half for me I use a 45% solution for my skin um, my mom has a darker complexion than me she's like a chocolate brown so with my mom even using 45 is too much for her. Um, I would suggest going, you know, um, 35 and below if you have a darker um, complexion. And it's going to depend on you as an individual and, you know, what you can manage and what is tolerable for you. Um, I will tell you that, you know, this doesn't burn. For me, what, what, what it felt like is... Um, the first, the very first time I used it for my patch test, it felt really itchy. Like, I just wanted to, like, scratch my face off. And you can't because you just got to leave it on for, you know, four minutes or whatever. Um, when I tried it as my actual um, scrub, I mean, my actual facial peel, um, the most intense that I felt was probably, like, little pin pricks. Like think of think of a very very tiny 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 point just all over and you'll feel them just on the surface of your skin. It's not like a deep you don't feel like a deep puncture like something stabbing you or anything like that. But just like little pinpricks like all over and you know you have to tolerate that for that four minutes or whatever if you can. And for me it wasn't bad. I would definitely do this again. Like it was to me going through that versus going through you know using all these solutions and all these different things on my skin this was great for me um, so it's all gonna depend on what you do I would I would suggest that you go online do some research on lactic acid um, do some research on your particular skin type um, whatever your issues are to see whether or not this would be feasible for you to use um, the other thing I would suggest that you do as with anything, any type of chemical you're going to put on your body, do a patch test to make sure that you're not allergic to anything that is in here, that, you know, you're not going to have any adverse skin reactions um, or anything or any type of, like, extra sensitivity. Um, do a patch test. A lot of people do their patch tests, their patch tests underneath the chin. You can do it on the backs of your, the backs of your knee, um, where that soft area of skin is. Try it on there because... Your, your facial skin is very delicate, you know, and you want to make sure that your skin, you're going to be able to tolerate that.